Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Today, we got another beautiful build for you. Today, we're building in the Torrent Nano. People have asked, Stints, when are you guys going to build some mini ITX builds so we can check them out? I want to see it. Well, look no further. I know the Torrent the tor can handle up to an MATX motherboard, but today, we're building in the ITX Z790 Edge Wi-Fi board. If you haven't seen this board, this is one of the boards that's actually got the highest record for DDR5 uh, mega transfer speeds right now. People are getting us over 8,000 megahertz right now on this board. Today, we're building a 13600K, uh, 6400 megahertz of DDR5 RAM, and an RT. RTX 4070 Ti. Let us know you think down in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And remember, we build live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over at twitch.tv slash stints at 10 a.m. Eastern. We'll hope to see you soon. Who's this PC for? It's actually, um, we're getting a couple more power supplies. We have a bunch of power supplies coming in today and tomorrow. That's what we couldn't we, so we couldn't do anything else on the list. Today is actually one that we've had scheduled for the last two weeks to build on stream. Um, that's going to be actually going on a curated site. You guys like the curated page? So we have, I think we have two or three systems going on the curated page. We've got a 1200K, 2070 uh, 3070Ti build, a 4070Ti build, and a 3070 build. So we have a bunch of mix of the 30, like the ranges of prices and components. This one's going to be a Tarkov killer. Ooh, holy music. Loud. So today we got a beautiful build. This is going to go on the, like I said, it's going to go on the curated site. Um, Torrent Nano, uh, mini ITX board. This board actually can, you can, we can overclock RAM, like some serious RAM on this board. For Tarkov, 4070 TR 4080. Either one of those is fantastic. We're, we're actually, this exact specs you see right here, we have on the bench right now, uh, but a different cooler. We have the AK620. We have a different motherboard and a, a Z790 uh, Pro. Um, this system right here is gonna be actually probably one of our Tarkov systems. If you're a Tarkov content creator, or you wanna be in Tarkov and running a really good system, the specs that you see right here are gonna be pretty, pretty good. Uh, I know you saw Blazed. We built Blazed new PC and he was getting like 140 to 160 on, on streets. Uh, he had very similar specs to this right here, maybe a little bit higher than this but i think we're gonna get pretty close with him like five to ten percent of his specs on the system here so we're talking like 120 plus on streets um even potentially more so we'll see what we can do so the build stations get started on today's beautiful build and thanks for hanging out with us here on your monday i like to get i like when i get air cooler builds once in a while i don't get them very often chat this is nice all right let's go top down let's get started on this beautiful mini and mighty z90i wet edge wi-fi oh god this thing little thing is adorable chat look at it chat look at this thing look at it look at it Got screws off here, our NVMe drive. We have a bit about the board. So this board right here is the board that uh, currently is going, has the world record for the, the uh, highest mega transfers. Um, we even saw one of these boards actually at Kingston. Kingston had one of their kits overclocked to 8,000 megahertz stable on this little board. The reason why is we only have two uh, dim slots. When we have these boards that have only two RAM slots, so typically uh, there's not a lot of interference with the CPU in the uh, the delivery between the RAM and the CPU to work really quickly together. Uh, this board has been is one known as one of the best boards for that. This actually this system right here will actually be going on our uh, on our curated site as well. So people who are looking for pick up a really good PC, this will be available actually for purchase probably either today or tomorrow. We get some benchmarks in. Well, it's always nice to build something a little different. You don't see a mini ITX build that often on stream, so. It's gonna be a quicker build today. We got a lot of things to do here in the shop. We got deliveries coming in, we got a lot of orders to get through. We've got probably another you know, 10 systems going out today, plus what we, what we build as well. So we got a lot going out that we built on Friday, and then more today. All right, socket looks good. The 4080, the 4080 from your 2080 is a huge upgrade, by the way. Next, we're gonna work on our standoffs for our cooler. Let's see how it's gonna sit. This is a big cooler. <laughs> the cooler is cooler, as big as the motherboard chat. Hey, you got Here's your idea of a cooler chat. <laughs> Ronnie, look at this. Our today's cooler is the AG620 from Deep Cool. Is it gonna fit? Yeah, it's gonna fit. Yep. That's why I actually just did the test fit right there, too. The only thing I will need to get will be a beautiful EK Ecotherm coolant we're gonna use today. We're not gonna use Deep Cool's little pouch they gave you. We're gonna use the EK, we have some EK Ecotherm. The reinforce that motherboard to hold it now. It's got, it's got a really nice back plate on this one. It'll be really sturdy. It has an exact amount of pressure between the top and the bottom. Um, and the cooler's not as heavy as you would imagine. It's heavy, but it's not super heavy. All right, all the standoffs are on. Standoffs are on. Next to me are RAM. 6400 CL32 today. Sweet spot of RAM right now, in my opinion. Go. There is chat. All right, guys, it's all done. Look at this little thing. NVMe drives in, CPU's in, or RAM is in. It's a beautiful little thing. It's got great reinforcements on the back. We're gonna slide to the side, we're gonna get this little torrent out, guys. Excited for the case today? The crazy part is this little PC is super powerful for a really good price. So you get a lot of the frames that you want. Look at that. I mean, they take good care of their cases. You guys are front close up, they're looking for? 
Look at this little thing, chat. Oh my god, is it pretty? It's a tor it's a tor nano. It's a tor nano. Yep. This is gonna be probably one of our staple PCs for like our mini. If you want like a mini ITX, we'll have it in black and white with this motherboard with this RAM with this kind of cooler in black and white. Um and with a 4070 Ti, 850 watt power supply. It's gonna be like one of our staples. It's just it's great. It's got two, uh, it's got a one big massive 200 millimeter fan in the front too. And this is only like a hundred, I think it's only like a hundred and twenty dollar case with that. It's not that much. All right, there it is chat. That's pretty much it. We just got all the, the cable management. It's great on the back too. It's super light. It's very forward heavy because of the front fan on the front. It's pretty heavy, but it's nice. And I think on this one we can even put bottom fans or bottom cooler potentially. All right guys, we go top down and put on this beautiful ITX board. Actually, I take this back. This isn't an ITX case. I forgot. This is an ITX case. Look at that, chat. Oh, look at that. Look at that little thing. Oh, it's the accessories. In case you want to put a front mount on the, on the front of it. You can put a 240, I believe, on the front of this case, too, guys. What do you recommend for the 4080s? Uh, if you want to really go to repress your performance, the MSI Gaming X Trio would be one of my, my recommendations. Very, very good card, the price. All right, guys, there it is. Look at this little thing. Motherboard's all secure. Look at this. Oh, man. Harry, keep your eyes off this screen today. All right, take off the top tray. We're gonna work on some more cabling real quick, guys. Got all our RGBs, our fans. What's the best AI right now for the 1300K? The Deepcool LT or the Corsair Capellets? The 4080 fit this thing. Depends on the 4080, we can potentially, yes. Most of everything is in. We have to just work on some of our, our power supply, and then we have the cooler, and then we have the graphics card. All right, power supply today, guys. A, um, the GF3 850. Plenty of power for today's system. Before that, we're actually running the fan right now. Over right here. Exhaust fan. 24 pin main. 12, uh, 16 pin, 12 power high volt, one CPU. That's it, chat, there it is. All right, chat, there it is. Get this little power supply up in this big thing. All right, tuck this down. We're gonna work on the cooler next, chat. Let's see all the cable management in the back, it's fun. Cooler time. We need our EK Ecotherm. Oh, who's this towers for? This is just one of those going to be on our curated website, on our curated page, on our website. So we can actually come and buy this exact system. Well, they're available for sale probably today or tomorrow, the latest. I don't know how the RGB is going to run off the get-go chat because it's going to be, the board might need a uh, LED software update. The, the standard ATX one does. So we will not see full RGB when we boot it up, but we see, see it running. All right, two more RGB things to hook up and we're on to the GPU chat. A little 47 Ti today. Yes, it'll fit, don't worry. All right, here we go chat. Ooh, it just fits. Just fits. Watch, I'm gonna put it inside on on its side so I can see it. <laughs> thunk to me from above today. The thunk. She's in chat. I hear the thunk. Here we go. Shush. Barely fits chat. It's that much space before it, it edges out the case. I'll show you that really quick while I start getting the cable out. Because we're gonna run a nice white braided cable to it. There you go, chat. She's all done. Look at that. I like that little Brady cable look too. Something a little different. You guys ready? All right, let's load it up. That was fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, born for this moment. Yeah, it's a uh, bad front panel switch. So we checked the check the checked all the cables, checked everything. Have that has happened in a long time. Usually cases are good. Like there's no stress on the cables. It's just a bad front panel switch. So I'm gonna check it out. I was trying, trying to see if I could take the, the top apart and see how easy to swap it in and out of the fractal case so we have more of these. But yeah, that's all it is. It's literally how to jump it on the, if you saw me take the screwdriver and jump the, the connector, I'm good right up. It's beautiful. And it was crazy because we just picked this up literally from a fractal warehouse, literally 20, 20 minutes away. So it stinks at the, the bad case. So because it's literally brand new in box. There's no transit error, things like that. But um, I'm gonna see if we can take a look at it here in the shop in a few minutes. Yeah, 100% what it was. It's just a bad jumper. It happens, man. It's beautiful than the jumper being. Fixed it! <laughs> bad jump. It's just a bad, the switch is that you have to push it really far down. 
That's what it was. All was, chat. Sag. All right, got this mounted. Let me go bottom down really quick. Gotta put this GPU back in. It's just, uh, I fixed the switch from the bottom. Like, it's just like, it just it just takes a hard press. So we're not, we're not bad or anything. It's just uh, not fun. We're good now. I was able to fix it from the bottom. I see the clip where I was, where it's clipped in. And I had to get a little bit more pressure on the uh, pressure point and we're back to back to running you golden but that was just a uh, just a case case block like the uh, the bottom of the the uh, button you almost looks like like it'd be screwed in one there's screws on it so we're gonna check out the screws here they're all accessible to have to take everything apart again but saw that went through the diagnostic steps so i could hear i could hear the 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 power cable seating and hearing power go to the capacitors tested fine everything test fine everything's run fine so i was like all right it's got to be something case wise i don't want anybody Guys, thanks for another awesome video. Thank you for stopping and showing us some love here on our YouTube channel. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see even more, hit that sub button. And remember, we build these PCs you see live here on our YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now over at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, say hello, watch us build a PC, and ask any questions you have, and let's go.